welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabrielle Naomi and I'm so happy that you joined me. So today from the title and from the way I look in the camera right now, y'all already know it's a hair tutorial. Today we are doing some like shoulder length, collarbone length, um, knotless braids with beads. So honestly, it's just like a little kid hairstyle with some beads. You know, I went to the store today and got my supplies, and I'm so excited because I love going to the beauty supply store. I always give myself at least a $30 budget when I go into the beauty supply store, at least. Because honestly, y'all, $30 could be gone in two bottles of product, you know, a shampoo and conditioner. That easy. And if y'all hear clicking and clattering, y'all already know that's my favorite pepper. She loves to come in and out as she pleases. Let's get into this style. So, for those that don't not, don't not, for those that do not know what kind of style I am talking about, I am referring to these over here. And let's get into it. So, the things that I got from the Beauty Spot store. Um, first of all, I'm gonna need you some jam. I like the extra holds. I don't really like the regular holds because they don't hold. Okay. Now, for the hair, right? Got two packs for 30 color 18 inch and then this is some uh expressions hair that i had in my closet and it's the red color that i used for my last braids okay, i'm going to start off with this in the back of my hair or in the back of my head to give it a sort of an ombre look um with the red so yep some duck bills to separate our hair like I got this one right there at the top. Um, then I got some rubber bands. Brings back so many memories. Sounds like K4. Um, okay, but yeah, I got the brown, white, this like marble bead right there. Too cute, too cute, right? And then I got this pack. This is the gold pack. Of course, for the next part, we want to talk about how I part my hair. Yeah, since I already had half of my hair, in the flat switch, I just kept it like that. And I just started parting the back. Nice half and half. I'm gonna use those rows um, just to do my braids. And because I wanna get done with these braids in a reasonable time, I'm not gonna worry too much about the parts, but I did wanna make sure that my lines were pretty much straight across. And I said that what I'm gonna do for y'all I'm just gonna personally go ahead and do the back half of my head. But yeah, I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed the first half of this video and continue watching if you wanna learn how to do the style. Peace. Okay, y'all, we are back. So I have gone ahead and finished the back of my head. So this is what the back is looking like. Hey, you know, since I am doing this for the, what, second time? This is probably like my second time doing knotless braids. So, the fact that I can even grip and part this well, I think I'm totally fine. Gonna start with the 30 now and work my way up to the top. Alright, see y'all in a little bit. Alright y'all, we're back. So, I have these two last braids left. Thank you, Jesus. First, the way that I start my braids, we're gonna just separate the rest of our hair that I got um, so that we don't have to keep on doing it as we're braiding. Right? And so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just take, I don't even know how to describe the small amount that I take out, but I'm gonna just take out a very small amount of hair. We wrap it together, it should look this thing. Okay, y'all, so all the hair is separated. And before I got back on the camera, I actually did do this last braid right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly how I braid this part. So if you do see, I am kind of greasy on my forehead. That's because I did put some jam on my uh, 
adult hairs in the front to slick them out <laughs> so I can use them as baby hairs after this is finished. Um, and then I also apply some jam to my roots and to my entire um, section of hair that I'm gonna braid, right? And so what we're gonna go ahead and do, you see it's in two, but we don't want it to be in two, we want it to be in three. So we're gonna do one section here, right? And then split this in two and make the three sections, right? And now, just gonna go ahead and start off like I'm doing a regular braid. Keep these baby hairs out. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off like we're doing a regular braid and I'm gonna end on this side. What the key is, is making sure that you feed all the hair in on the same.
I'm gonna use in order to just set the hair. So we're gonna go ahead and take the mousse, y'all. Take the mousse. Go squirt it over. Just enough. Ooh. Just enough just to cover. Okay. So now it's nice and flat, right? And so I have my golden do-rag here. And we're just gonna set this on here. So I am gonna go ahead and keep this on there. I'm gonna blow dry it off camera um, and then come back. All right, y'all, so we're back. I went out and put on um, a shirt, uh, just a different shirt. Um, Cause I'm about to go run some errands, but I said, let me just go ahead and film the ending really quickly. Gotta put some gloss on these lips though, because I'm fine now. Oh. and glossy okay anyways um this mousse is definitely drying out so y'all ready for the wave check okay wave check looking ass okay i'm just kidding um i'm just gonna take off this durag oh i like the durag with this though i like it I know y'all just want to see the finished product. Here we go. And whoa! Here we are. Finished product. This is what the back is looking like. We love to see you. Really hope that y'all actually enjoyed this video and i hope that you guys go ahead and give it a thumbs up go ahead and comment um please if you have not please subscribe right um and i just i just hope to see y'all next time because but i can't even talk i'm just so i'm just like wow i'm just like wow <laughs> but anyways peace and love stay you stay true and i'll see you later